stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp? Is she all right? Queen of the Marauders, huh? That's what comes of watching serials. Brats your gray. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some Marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. Hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Stefan's got supplies.
Keep your wits about you, friend. before he left the cannery. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes. Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? 
cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Keep your wits about it.
voices. 